Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm oh, to impress you, of course. Why would I do anything except to delicately enhance your opinion of me? <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I oh, ask you something? I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever, um, built, or whatever, on the island, back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It... used to, I think. You'd think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? <laughs> Jonas, I think you're smart. Come on, what are you talking about? Hmm, I don't know. I just sometimes get these, like, whiffs of... I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Maybe it's stress? Like, from what's going on right now? You think I don't know stress? I know stress. <laughs> okay. It's like... It's like, I don't know. Nah, it'll come to me. Guys! Jesus, it took you forever to get here. What happened? I've been scared out of my mind. Hearing things... Yeah, sorry about that. We got sort of sidetracked. I'm fine. Sorry. I've just been spazzing. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Ugh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd be worried about it if I were you, because believe me, it's pretty obvious. Okay, well, I don't really know what to... There's your boy. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally! Um, Ren? Ren! Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this. He's, like... It's like he has a fever or something. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like... Alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... But... what? But he's possessed. It's possession. He's... yeah, he's clearly possessed. Well, you know, let's not jump to conclusions here, but maybe it's not that. This island has had many owners. Portuguese explorers, Spanish settlers, but few stayed long preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II, and decided to take control of the island once again founding Fort Milner in 1941. This island... I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of.
Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. I thought... I thought this would have fixed it. Like, last time, didn't it? The time stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think... I, I think it did. I don't feel as foggy. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Um... Crap. I don't... Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... Can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? Uh, this is a little different than a trampoline accident. He's, like, turning into the star child. I know, it's different. I know it's different. I'm just saying we should do something. I don't know what, but something. Whoa, is this... Is that helping him? It's doing something, but... Helping him, hopefully. I don't know. Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through, child. Feels... Stretched. Better. No. Um, w were you in Ren? Ren, kid. Home. Voice. Sometimes. But do not be scared. You are dolls. Would never plot. Hurt you. Can not hurt you. Can we, uh, help you? Or leave? Possible. Uh, maybe? But I, I don't really. Grounded. By Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Peggy Adler. That old woman? Why does she have to do with anything? That old woman was young once. We were young once. Sit. Still. Bear fruit. Tag. God, you guys. God, Ren. Don't, uh, don't do that, man. Why? Why is this? Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. God, does anyone? Is this thing working? If Don't anyone can hear this out there in a whatever. I met the con tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like... We should get back there before she freaks out and runs away again. I think that was our cue then. It's kind of a shortcut back to the communication tower if we go through this fence. Shouldn't take that long. I think it's actually locked. Not from this side. It's a little latch. I could see it from the window.
man, you know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but... Horse ranch show? What? A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of the- Uh, sure. I- if I squint, I can kind of remember. What about it? Nothing. I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and- Why'd she do that? Um, I think she was indisposed? Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I- I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's- whatever, that's- that's not part of the story. Anyways. She was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the, just picture like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a, really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? Yeah, I mean, he needed his amp. And it was just a stupid test, so who cares? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's a- <sighs> Of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is gonna start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, even if you think the test was stupid, I don't know. Can't help but feel that you maybe should have probably still done it. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. <sighs> I'm not that smart, Jonas. There's nothing really to waste here. If you say so. She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. Oh, hey guys. I see you down there. And without Clarissa. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since obviously it isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know... Wait, second brownie? Run, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's- You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so. That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, it's been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's Her not- Her house 
manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, 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 we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex okay, is- you're arguing 15 things at once now. Do the plan, trust Jonas, leave Ren, like pick a target, or better yet, just don't. Yeah. Look, I don't care what caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that yeah, you... Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Ugh, stop it! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean... I guess... Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' We've plan! Why? <laughs> this is why! Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This'll be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. <sighs> hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on. Mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex.
You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that. Really? Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so... Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and, well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know. Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident and so of course we cancel and go visit her and I'm not gonna pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. I'm not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. This is The Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. This is the Sentry. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation.
This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This...